trip, we um, kind of have two things going on. We are providing parent education um, regarding ways to facilitate language or speech production in their children. And then also finding out what the families are expressing their needs are. As a speech pathologist, it's really important to listen to the families themselves about what they feel like their needs are, what their concerns are, what their barriers are. And so I'm hoping this trip will allow us to provide some of that education about what speech pathology is, but then also gather the information about what the barriers are for them to access services um, and to access health literacy and close that gap a little bit in this community, but hopefully it can apply to um, more communities outside of Boyaba. Rosselda <laughs> Con tres mil pesos ya se ven. Entonces, la consulta es que, que no, no está sordo, no está capacitado de escuchar lo que él tiene que pensar. Entonces, gustó, pero en voluntad, hasta que se cae con mi gente. Entonces, se ve que no, no hay terapia, ¿qué hecho? Terapia de lenguaje, terapia de hecho, no sé, de O, profesional. Pues, ¿qué es la terapia? ¿Qué es very important that there's a lot of missionaries with different types of uh, specialty that they come down. A lot of our people lack in education. A lot of people do not know what to do with their kids or do not know what to do. When someone comes down, gives us idea, recommends us other ways that we can start and do things, we learn. And as we learn, we pass on that information to our people and our people learn and they pass it on to their kids. So I feel like it's like a generation of information from one generation to another. The impact of having people from the United States to bring a level of expertise in specific areas has such a tremendous impact because most everybody in Hoiva understands the money and understands how much work it takes for these people to leave their lives, to pay to come down here. And I think it's just an amazing benefit to the people of Hoyeva, in this case, to 18 special needs kids and families. It's just a, such a blessing to have people that are willing to make that sacrifice and come down and help. Las personas de Estados Unidos que vienen aquí en Guatemala, vienen a ayudar a los niños, es bastante importante porque aquí en Guatemala casi que no, no contamos con esas especialidades y y pues vienen a ayudar bastante a los niños que niños y personas que lo necesitan.
Um, so this experience has taught me a lot for my academic career. It has taught me a lot about different cultures and I'm very excited to bring it back um, to the United States to use this in my profession whenever I do graduate um, the university um, just with the different diversity between the cultures and it's just given me a lot of opportunities to learn about um, just different ways different cultures um, go about things. I would say this experience has contributed um, to my deepening my understanding of the diversity of the world. It's important as a um, instructor, as a professor, as a faculty member to myself, immerse myself in other cultures so that I can um, convey firsthand to my students about what's happening in the world outside of the U.S. Um, it's really helped me um, learn and understand about parent education in different cultures and um, how I can take that back and incorporate it into um, my therapy and as an SLP in the future back home. I would say this trip impacted me by experiencing another culture even though I've already been to Belize and got to experience their culture I felt like um, this was a good opportunity to experience a different culture with different people with somewhat of a different lifestyle. Really, I think just the fact that we are only here for one week and we did hear such like sad stories and you do want to do more to help. Um, and just, I think the biggest challenge for me is feeling like I want to do so much more than we're able to do in a week. Um, I would say the main challenge on this trip was uh, just having to see and hear all the stories. They were amazing and they've absolutely changed my perspective, but it was just really hard to hear the things that they were going through and not be able to do anything about it. I'm a very, I would say, emotional person. So um, because this is a different culture, I believe that the trip has just impacted me emotionally and it was hard to not, to stay professional and not express those emotions while interviewing and conducting my research. Um, I would say um, the opportunities that have impacted me the most is getting to see um, just a whole variety of different kids from seeing kids like in the hospital to seeing kids playing on the hill. Um, it's just amazing to see how well they get along and just how strong and independent everyone is here. What has impacted me the most is how open each family has been to the um, interview questions that we asked them during, during our uh, research study. A lot of these families um, are doing a lot with very little. They have a desire to help their children um, as much as they can, and um, they're looking for answers. And so it's really impacted me hearing their stories um, and trying to contribute to other professionals who can potentially come back and address the needs that they've expressed. and educational. An opportunity. Informative. Fighting. Eye-opening. Impactful. Humbling.